This is Gary Schnitke, and this is a five-minute Farm Doc Daily dealing with management decisions relative to high fertilizer cost. We have seen fertilizer prices skyrocket in the fall of 2021. Last reading we had at the beginning of October was that anhydrous ammonia price in Illinois was $1,100. This is considerably higher than it was a year ago. Last year at this time, we were looking at uh, anhydrous ammonia prices of $432 per ton. And earlier in the, this fall, we were looking at prices at $756. Last reading we had was in the $800 range, so we're well over $200 higher up in less than two weeks. A number of reasons can be given for these price increases. One is that there has been supply disruptions over the anhydrous ammonia plants in the Louisiana area due to current Hurricane Ida as well as both corn and natural gas prices have increased, and both of those have a positive impact on anhydrous ammonia and all nitrogen prices. We also have had supply disruptions because of COVID, and those continue. It also isn't anhydrous ammonia prices that have gone up, but all prices of, of, of nitrogen fertilizers have gone up. We've seen Urea go up to $810 per ton and 28% up to $475 per ton in the first week of October. All of these fertilizers tend to move together and they have very high correlation coefficients which measures how closely they move together. Ammonia and 28% have a 0.96 correlation and the highest is one. So very high correlations. So we have these high nitrogen prices. What should we do? One of the first things that we should do is lower uh, nitrogen rates. We ran the N-rate calculator, which gives maximum return to nitrogen, the MRTN rate. Did that for a $5 corn price and different anhydrous ammonia prices. At $1,100 anhydrous ammonia price, we're looking at a 270 pounds of actual, or excuse me, anhydrous ammonia applied. That compares to a $500 ton price, roughly equal to last year, of 244 pounds per acre. So you can see there that MRTNs are suggesting roughly a 40 pound de decline in an anhydrous ammonia applied. That anhydrous ammonia applied, if we apply 277 pounds of anhydrous ammonia, we get 170 pounds of N. That's 20 pounds less than the usual recommendations last year, which were 190 pounds of actual N per acre. All of those will result in pretty high anhydrous ammonia prices or cost per acre. We're looking at a at a $1,100 ton per ton. Anhydrous ammonia price and the rate of 277 pounds per acre, $114 of fertilizer cost per acre. So the first management thing is to lower rates, and that is in particular true for those farmers that are above MRTM. And we see 68% of the farmers, according to PECM, Precision Conservation Management, at being above MRTM rates. That will be particularly costly in a year in which we have these high nitrogen rates. We have received a number of questions. Will, will spring prices be below current prices? We looked at October to April prices over the period from 2008 to the current one period. 28% of the time they're lower. 72% of the time they're higher. You really don't have a clear indication there of something happening all the time. I would also note that we are in an unusual time and that fertilizer manufacturers have a high incentive to get those plants running again, but we also have winter weather to worry about and the whole COVID thing, so we really don't know. The one other thing that we see a lot of farmers thinking about is switching from corn to soybeans because of the higher nitrogen prices. I would also suggest that looking at corn and soybean prices. And currently, if we look at current bids of corn and soybeans, we find that 
corn and soybeans have roughly the same profitability right now, given a $5 corn price and an $11.80 soybean price fall bids for next year. That causes profitability to be roughly equal between corn and soybeans. So even though nitrogen fertilizer costs may be high, you also have to consider what's going on with in the corn and soybean commodity price side as well. All of this is suggests that we're, as we're moving through this year, we'll have to keep track of markets, and that only not only includes corn and soybeans, but also nitrogen now, and that budgeting, more budgeting is likely to be warranted. You can read more about this in my Farm Doc Daily, which is listed or linked to in the YouTube video description below.